Open the Planmeca Romexis 6 software. Search and select the right patient using the right button of the mouse. Hover your mouse over Capture, and under Models, select Scan to proceed to scanning in Romexis Model Analyzer. If you're using another version of Romexis or a Planmeca PlanCat Easy, see the instructions in our guide for full arch scanning. Retraction devices are recommended to keep the lips and cheeks away from the scanner. Dry the teeth before starting the scan. Scanning is easier when the patient is in a horizontal position. Hold the scanner close to the tip like a handpiece. Rest the neck of the scanner gently on the adjacent teeth. Press the upper button once to activate the scanner. Start the scan from the occlusal surface with the tip of the scanner pointing towards the distal. On the interiors, rotate back and forth from the palatal to the facial. It is important to capture data on all three surfaces. Scan the occlusal surface of the entire arch. Next, scan all of the buckle. The scan should continue from the occlusal surface already scanned and overlap with it. Scan all of the palatal. The scan should continue from the occlusal surface already scanned and overlap with it. After scanning, generate the model of the scanned teeth. Press and hold both scanner buttons at the same time, rotate the scanner, and release the buttons to select the right action. After generating the model, evaluate the scan by selecting data density. Areas which appear dark blue are missing data and should be scanned again. In Planmeca Emerald S, the scanned model can be rotated by pressing the upper button and rotating the scanner. If necessary, rescan any low data areas. Restart the scanner, place it over an area already scanned, and hold it still. When you hear the sound, the scanner is capturing data again. Once you're ready, move on to the lower arch by pressing the lower button on the scanner. Start scanning on the same side as with the upper arch. Start from the occlusal surface with the tip of the scanner pointing towards the distal. On the interiors, rotate back and forth from the lingual to the facial. It is important to capture data on all three surfaces. Scan the occlusal of the entire arch. Scan all of the buckle. 
The scan should continue from the occlusal surface already scanned and overlap with it. Scan all of the lingual. The scan should continue from the occlusal surface already scanned and overlap with it. Continue to scanning the teeth in occlusion. Start the scan from the same side as the previous scans. Start with the buccal surface of the upper molars. Hold the scanner still and capture the teeth until you hear a sound signal and the previously scanned upper model appears on the screen. Next, capture the lower models on the same side until the previously scanned lower model appears. If necessary, the models can also be aligned manually. Move on to buckle 2 and repeat the buckle scan on the other side. Once the buckle bite views have been aligned and the model generated, check the final result. Once you are ready, click on the check mark symbol to save and exit. Continue to work with the digital impression as you prefer. Remove unwanted data by activating the active delete function while scanning. Press the lower button to activate the active delete function and rescan the areas with unwanted data. Take an HD snapshot of the teeth by holding the scanner still for a while or by pressing the lower button longer while the scanner is on. The snapshot is automatically superimposed onto the scan making it easy to define the margin line in your prosthetic works. Snapshots can also be used in patient communication. For more detailed instructions, see our guide for full arch scanning.